Harmonics can be used in so many different ways, especially when using harmonics in connection and conjunction with uh, fretted notes. You can create wonderfully, beautifully complex harmonic chords. Um, if you don't already know him, I would suggest, encourage, highly encourage you to check out Michael Manring, Bay Area bass player who does some of the most uh, wonderful things with harmonics and sliding harmonics and alternate tunings. If anyone in the world, beautiful, beautiful bass player, great, great musician, Michael Manring. Um, so uh, we're going to get into all sorts of things uh, like artificial harmonics and sliding harmonics and um, more complex chords. But I just want to give you here, uh, since we're still in the you know, intermediate section, just some of the basic chords that you use using the most frequently occurring and easily played harmonics on the fretboard to, to make chords. So the number one would be, I guess, your big E minor. So again, when I'm, when I'm thinking these chords, I'm thinking, because I'm always thinking about harmony and the chords, okay? So I've got an E. Now if I play my D harmonic, that D is what? It's a minor seventh of E. And if I play a G, that's the minor third of E. So it gives me an E minor 7 chord because it gives me the minor 3rd and the minor 7th in E. And of course if you play the, the harmonics on the 5th fret, it's the same notes up an octave. minor seven. Now if you finger a D on the fifth fret of your A string and you go here and you play the harmonic on the seventh fret of your D and G string, you get a A and a D, which are power chords in the key of, a, of D, so you get a D chord. And that can work well because, you know, it doesn't give you the seventh or the third. It just gives you the fifth and the octave. So you can play a major. You can play D minor. But we'll have more fun with that concept later. So you can do the same thing down a string in the key of A. You fret your A on the fifth, string, fifth fret of your E string. Play the seventh fret harmonics. A and G string. You got an A power chord. So those are the most naturally occurring. If you want to come down here, if you play a C and you play the fifth fret harmonic of your E string, you're going to get an E, which is the major third of C, and the G, which is the fifth. There you have a C triad. And if you want to get really tricky, if you play the fourth fret harmonic on your G string, it would be a B natural, sort of. And if you play the D here, you got a D. So you've got. A D and a B, which are the fifth and the major third of G. So you can play you have a G major. And if you wanted to get really crazy, you play those same two notes with a C here that is a ninth, that's D, which would be a D9. The seventh, you have a C7-9 chord. And those are just some of the more naturally occurring chords 
There are a lot more we're going to get to and a lot more fun we're going to have when we start sliding harmonics. Thank you.